from smart homes that anticipate your needs to cities that manage their own resources. The connected future is already here, and it's powered by the Internet of Things. My name is Daniel, and today we're diving into something that's completely transforming our world. The Internet of Things, or IoT for short. By the end of this video, you'll understand exactly what IoT is, why it's such an exciting field to get into right now, and most importantly, how you can become an IoT developer in 2025. Guys, make sure you check out all the useful links in the description after watching this video. There might be some nice discounts there. Grab a drink, get comfortable, and let's map out your journey to becoming an IoT developer this year. What is IoT? Alright, let's start with the basics. What exactly is IoT? Well, my friends, IoT stands for the Internet of Things, and it's essentially the network of physical objects that are embedded with sensors, software, and other technologies for the purpose of connecting and exchanging data with other devices and systems over the Internet. Think about it this way, guys. Your smartphone is smart because it connects to the Internet. Now imagine that same connectivity extending to virtually everything around you. Your refrigerator, your car, your home lighting system, even the city infrastructure, like traffic lights and water systems. That's IoT in action. Your smart thermostat that you can control from your phone. IoT. Those fitness trackers counting your steps. IoT. The sensors in factories that predict when machines need maintenance before they break down. You guessed it, that's IoT too. What makes IoT so revolutionary, folks, is that it bridges the physical and digital worlds. It takes ordinary objects and makes them extraordinary by giving them the ability to collect and share data. And here's what's really exciting. We're still just scratching the surface of what's possible. From healthcare to agriculture, from manufacturing to transportation, IoT is transforming virtually every industry by making it more efficient, more automated and more intelligent. And that, my friends, is why we need skilled IoT developers more than ever. Why should you become an Internet of Things expert? Imagine being at the center of a tech revolution, where nearly 10 devices exist for every single person on the planet. We are talking about 75 billion connected devices. By the end of 2025, that's not just a number, that's an explosion of opportunity. What makes IoT development so incredible is how mind-blowingly diverse the work is. One day you could be deep in embedded systems, programming, the next you're crafting cloud infrastructure, and then suddenly you're designing a mobile app that controls everything. It's like being a tech superhero who speaks multiple technological languages. The real magic happens because IoT isn't just about one skill. It's about mastering this incredible blend of hardware, software, networking, data analysis, and even artificial intelligence. Companies are desperate for people who can connect these technological dots, which means you become an incredibly valuable professional that everyone wants on their team. So guys, this isn't just a job. This is your ticket to being at the cutting edge of technological innovation. IoT Developer Skill Set Folks, the Internet of Things is an exciting field that blends hardware and software, and you don't need to be an expert in everything to get started. Your programming journey should begin with Python, the versatile language dominating IoT development, while gradually incorporating C++ and JavaScript for comprehensive skills. Hardware knowledge is crucial, but doesn't require an electrical engineering degree. Understanding sensors, microcontrollers, and platforms like Arduino and Raspberry Pi will help you prototype and experiment. These tools are designed to be beginner-friendly, allowing quick entry into IoT development. Networking forms the backbone of IoT, so you'll need to grasp how devices communicate using protocols like MQTT and wireless technologies such as Wi-Fi and 5G. Cloud services have become fundamental, with platforms like AWS IoT and Azure essential for data storage and processing. Data analytics and AI skills are no longer optional. The true power of IoT lies in transforming raw sensor data into meaningful insights. Machine learning enables systems to make intelligent predictions, turning complex data into actionable information. Security is paramount in IoT development. With devices often having limited computing resources, understanding encryption, secure authentication, and data protection is critical. In 2025, security isn't an afterthought. It's a core design principle. User interface design and project management skills will distinguish you in this field. Creating intuitive interfaces and understanding how complex systems interconnect will make you a valuable IoT developer. The ability to see the big picture while managing intricate details is key. Remember, the IoT world is waiting for passionate developers ready to innovate and solve real-world problems. Start small, stay curious, and keep learning. Alright guys, here's something crucial every developer needs to understand. Whether you're working in IoT or any other tech field, security is absolutely critical. 
Ever feel like security patches are a total nightmare? Now imagine completely eliminating system downtime while keeping your servers rock-solid protected. That's exactly what Taxcare's Kernel Care Enterprise does. Here's the deal. These guys have already solved over 5000 cybersecurity vulnerabilities without making their users reboot a single system. Zero downtime, zero interruptions. We are talking about a technology that patches your Linux kernels in literal nanoseconds, so fast that your servers won't even notice anything happened and they can keep running without disruption. Think about it. No more scheduling maintenance windows, no more coordinating crazy complex patch times, no more crossing your fingers hoping nothing breaks. Kernel Care just silently does its job in the background, automatically, keeping you compliant, secure, and running at 100% uptime. The best part? They support pretty much every major enterprise Linux distribution. Whether you're running small systems or massive enterprise infrastructure, they've got you covered. Some companies spend hours, even days, managing security patches. With Kernel Care, you'll cut those operational costs dramatically and sleep better, knowing your systems are protected. This isn't just a patching tool, this is peace of mind. Now, if you are ready to take the next step in securing your Linux systems, click the link in the description to get started with a free trial. Thanks so much to Taxcare for sponsoring this video. How to become an IoT developer – a step-by-step -step guide. Alright guys, now for the part you've all been waiting for. How exactly do you become an IoT developer in 2025? Let me walk you through a practical pathway that will take you from wherever you are now to your first IoT developer role. First, build a solid foundation in programming. If you are completely new to coding, start with Python. There are countless free and paid resources online that can teach you the basics. Spend a few weeks getting comfortable with core programming concepts like variables, loops, conditionals, and functions. Once you have the basics down, create some simple applications to solidify your understanding. The key here, my friends, is consistent practice. Even just an hour a day will yield significant progress over time. Next, get your hands on some hardware and start playing. In 2025, starter kits for IoT development are more affordable and user-friendly than ever. I'd recommend beginning with a Raspberry Pi or Arduino kit that comes with various sensors and actuators. Follow along with some beginner projects online. Build a weather station that collects temperature and humidity data. Create a smart plant watering system or design a motion-activated light. These hands-on projects will teach you how hardware and software interact, which is the essence of IoT development. Once you're comfortable with basic hardware projects, it's time to add connectivity. Learn how to make your devices communicate with each other and with the Internet. Start with simple protocols like HTTP for basic web connectivity, then move on to MQTT, which is specifically designed for IoT applications. Create projects where one device can control another remotely or where sensor data is sent to a cloud service for storage. This is where your projects start to become true IoT applications, folks. Now it's time to level up your cloud skills. Sign up for one of the major cloud providers that offer IoT services. AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud all have free tiers that are perfect for learning. Work through their IoT tutorials and documentation to understand how to connect your devices to their platforms. Learn how to store and process the data coming from your devices and how to create dashboards to visualize that data. Cloud services are the backbone of most commercial IoT systems, so this knowledge is essential. With some projects under your belt, it's time to deepen your understanding through structured learning. In 2025, there are specialized IoT developer courses and certifications that cover all the key aspects of the field. Look for programs that include hands-on projects and that are updated regularly to keep pace with this rapidly evolving field. The best courses will include mentorship from experienced IoT developers who can guide you through challenges and provide feedback on your work. Next, my friends, you need to build a portfolio that showcases your IoT skills, take the projects you've been working on, polish them up, and document them thoroughly. Create a personal website or GitHub repository where you can display your projects with explanations of the problems you solved, the technologies you used, and the results you achieved. Include photos, videos, and code samples. A strong portfolio is often more valuable to employers than formal qualifications because it demonstrates that you can actually build working IoT solutions. Now it's time to connect with the IoT community, join online forums, participate in IoT hackathons, attend meetups, and become active in open source IoT projects. The IoT field is collaborative by nature, and being part of the community will expose you to new ideas, help you stay current with emerging technologies, and potentially lead to job opportunities. Don't be afraid to ask questions and share your own knowledge. Everyone starts somewhere, 
and most developers are happy to help newcomers. Finally, guys, it's time to land that first IoT role. Look for entry-level positions like IoT developer, embedded systems engineer, or IoT solution architect assistant. In 2025, many companies also offer IoT apprenticeship or internship programs specifically designed to bring new talent into the field. Consider starting with a role that leverages any existing skills you have. For example, if you have a background in web development, look for positions focused on the front-end applications that control IoT devices. Remember, folks, becoming an IoT developer is a journey that takes time. Be patient with yourself, celebrate small victories along the way, and keep building and learning. The field is evolving rapidly, so even experienced IoT developers are constantly updating their skills. That continuous learning process is part of what makes this career so exciting and rewarding. Guys, before we move on, I try to make my content fun instead of boring. And in return, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy the content I make. Demand for IoT developers and salary expectations. So what's the job market like for IoT developers in 2025? Well, I've got some great news. It's booming. Companies everywhere are struggling to find qualified IoT professionals, which means tons of opportunities if you have the right skills. Healthcare is going all in on IoT, from smart medical devices to remote patient monitoring. Manufacturing is big too, with smart factories using IoT for predictive maintenance and automation. And it's not just those industries. Smart cities, agriculture, retail, and transportation all need IoT talent. What's even better, you don't have to be in Silicon Valley to land a great job. Many of these roles are remote, so you can work from just about anywhere. Now let's talk money, guys. If you're just starting out, you're looking at $85,000 to $95,000 a year, higher than a lot of other entry-level tech jobs. With a few years of experience that jumps to $110,000 to $140,000, and senior roles can go well beyond $150,000. Freelancers and contractors can make even more, with hourly rates from $75 to $200, depending on expertise. And beyond salary, many companies are offering solid perks, equity and bonuses to attract top talent. Career growth also strong. You could start as a junior developer, move up to designing entire systems, and eventually become an IoT architect or even a chief IoT officer. Some developers even go on to launch their own startups or consulting businesses. Bottom line, if you're thinking about getting into IoT, now's the time. The demand is high, the pay is great, and the opportunities are everywhere. Is becoming an IoT developer worth it in 2025? So, is becoming an IoT developer worth it in 2025? Absolutely. The industry is growing fast, companies are scrambling for talent, and the work itself is cutting edge. Whether you're into hardware, software, AI, or cloud systems, IoT gives you a chance to work on some of the most exciting tech out there. The pay is solid, the job opportunities are everywhere, and there's a ton of room to grow in your career. Plus, with remote work becoming more common, you don't have to be in a big tech hub to land a great job. If you're willing to learn, experiment, and keep up with new advancements, this could be one of the best career moves you make. So, if IoT has you excited, now's the time to dive in. Start building, start learning, and see where this journey takes you. The future is connected, and you could be the one helping to shape it. And that's all about my IoT developer roadmap. Feel free to check out the links in the description below. You might find some discounts there. As usual, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, until next time.